What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745 and welcome to my Moonstone Unlocked video. In this video I will be unlocking the lockbox character Moonstone, showing her recruitment dialogue, her comic covers, and her storyline. And then we're going to take a look at her in PvP at only level 8 and trust me you do not want to miss that. But first, here I am getting that last cover. And it took me forever to get that one. I think I was just one away from a full bonus bar before I finally got it. And of course by that point I was expecting it to fill up the entire bar before I got it. But I knew as soon as I saw that incredible Hulk cover, we had finally unlocked Moonstone. And speaking of that cover, let's go ahead and check out the entire comic cover collection. All eight covers. If you're still missing any, you'll be able to see exactly which ones you're missing. And I always think it's pretty interesting which covers they choose. First up is Dark Avengers Volume 1, number 177. So that's a pretty recent cover. Next we have an older cover, Incredible Hulk, Volume 1, number 228. For the third cover we have Thunderbolts, Volume 1, number 1. And then moving on to the last cover of the first row. It's going to be Thunderbolts, Volume 1, number 30. Next we have the new Thunderbolts Volume 1 number 18. That will be followed by Thunderbolts Volume 1 number 109. The next to the last comic is going to be Thunderbolts Volume 1 number 153. And rounding out our eight covers, Thunderbolts Volume 1 number 173. So practically the entire collection is Thunderbolts covers but I do like that they threw in that old Incredible Hulk, even though that one took me like 7 duplicates to get. Now truthfully I did unlock Moonstone quite a while ago, and I probably should have had this video up sooner. Since then I have been using her in PvE, as well as in PvP a little bit. But honestly I do get worried about using a character before their level 9. It's not something that I often do. Maybe it was Doctor Doom and his effectiveness at level 6. But I decided to give Moonstone a try at just level 8. And boy was I surprised. She really did hold her own. And mostly because of her level 1 and level 2. She can go phased which can protect her from most characters. Especially against many of the popular characters that are being used right now. And then there's her level 1. With that immobilized debuff. This thing does wonders especially against certain characters. Which are popular right now and truthfully are always popular, such as Hulk, and of course that pesky Quicksilver. So yes, it did take a while to post this video, but the good news is, she is going to have access to a lot more of her abilities. And also, her full review isn't that far behind. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and show you my Moonstone at level 8 in PvP. For this fight, I've decided to team her up with the Juggernaut. There's two reasons for this. One, because both of them increase melee attacks. And two, because Magneto is so popular, he's pretty much on every single team I come up against. So you know I'm going to take advantage of that level 2 Mountain Crusher, which has exploit shields and shield breaker. And especially because of this, Juggernaut will have the opportunity to practically one-shot someone even early in the combat, and I'll show you that in just a second, as soon as we use his level 9, he can do some pretty big damage, and Magneto apparently has the Empowered Ice Await which gives him a shield. Now if I would have hit with this move, and it would have crit, that would have been a pretty big hit. Unfortunately we do miss with that first attack, so I'm hoping that we get to break his shield later on. To be honest, it'll be even better once that Mystic Shroud is removed, because it will play Shield Breaker on the target, and that prevents new shields. Now it's going to be my Agent's turn to act, so we're going to use the Scroll of Vangalob, and that will remove Mystic Shroud. Next will be the Quick Action Gadget, Neurotrope. This will place a number of buffs on my team, and also give us a counter attack. So if Magneto does decide to hit us with his level 6 AoE attack, we will counterattack with our entire team. 
But even if he doesn't, whoever he does target is going to counterattack. And then if Quicksilver should happen to try a Vortex Lariat, he'll be counterattacked by whoever still has their combat awareness. The only bad part about using this attack is the fact that Magneto is going to probably get his shield broken and gain an extra turn. So this is pretty unfortunate and a lot of it comes down to turn order, but it's certainly a risk that I'm willing to take. And we do get a psychological manipulation as well. So we disoriented Magneto, but he still got an attack off. But with our two counterattacks from Moonstone and then Juggernaut, we end up taking Magneto out of the fight. This is going to help us out so much in the future. Now with Quicksilver coming up, we're going to use our level 1 attack, Forceful Personality, and that's going to place Immobilized on Quicksilver. So not only did we get to use Gravity Syndrome to boost melee attacks, we also got to lock all of Quicksilver's abilities because all he can do is melee attacks. Now with the Juggernaut and his boost to melee attacks, we go ahead and use Mountain Crusher, which destroys their agent. Remember, he did have that magnetic field, which meant we were able to break it with the Mountain Crusher and do a ton of extra damage. Then we don't even have to worry about Quicksilver, because all we have to do is use our level 1 from Moonstone, and he can't do anything. All he can do now is skip his turns. So this is a very effective way to shut down one of the most popular teams you'll see. And truthfully, I'm getting really sick of seeing Magneto and Quicksilver. So I hope you do use this team and get yourself some easy wins. But that is going to be it for our Moonstone Unlocked video. Like I said, a review should follow pretty soon. So make sure you keep checking out the channel. And please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all for watching. And until next time, good luck and take care.